What's up guys, it's Dwayne with mountainbuck.com and today we're reviewing the cheapest climbing tree stand you can buy. It was $100 on a Dick's Sporting Goods flash sale. It is the Field & Stream Stealth 2 climbing tree stand. This thing weighs in at 24 pounds yet holds up to 300 pounds. Before we get started, hook me up and hit subscribe. Now let's go see what this tree stand can do. All right, so a couple quick things before we get started. First thing is selecting the right kind of tree. So this tree is a nice size. You're looking for about 16 to 24 inches in diameter. And a quick rule of thumb to remember this is about the width of your shoulders. So this tree is plenty big enough. You got some nice coarse bark on here. It goes straight up, so we're good to go with this tree. Another thing you wanna remember, absolutely remember, is your safety harness. This uh, climbing tree stand and all the other ones come with a generic harness that's super uncomfortable. I never feel secure in them, so I don't use those. I upgraded to a muddy harness, so you might want to think about doing that right off the bat just so you're comfortable, safe, and secure. Another thing you might want to bring along is a limb cutter. If you're climbing up the tree and you encounter a limb, dispatch this guy, take it out with this, and you're good to go. You may also want to use something like this to clear out some shooting lanes, take down some small trees or limbs that are in the way so you can have a better shot on your target. You also may want to take about 30 feet of small rope. And what I do is I clip one end onto my belt loop. I put the other end on my crossbow or compound bow. As I reach the safety up there, I'm a secure height and I'm safe in the tree. I then pull up my crossbow and I'm good to go. So I'm not trying to muscle that thing up while I'm using the tree stand to climb. So much easier just to use the rope to pull you up. All right, so let's check this out, see how we do with this tree stand. All right, so we have the seat portion of our tree stand here. And the first thing we're gonna do is remove this pin that holds the chain in place. And this is nice because it actually has a little catch on here, so you're not gonna lose this in the woods. We're gonna pull this all the way out. This chain uh, goes all the way down in and it tightens up real nice to keep it compact for travel. And then we're gonna place this around the tree. Wrap our chain around the tree. Bring it in here and pull the seat up. Now, these handles move, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that as we, as we maneuver this thing up the tree. So then we're just going to simply slide this back into the guide inside the rail keeping it tight against the tree. And we wanna ang angle this up slightly because as we move up, the tree will narrow. We wanna make sure we get up there good. So our, here we are, we're just gonna line this up with a hole and close it off the other end. And here we are, our seat portion of the stand is now on the tree nice and solid. So we're just gonna do the same thing for the bottom. Again, we're gonna angle it up slightly. Cap that off right there. All right, so we have a few things going on here. First of all, in the unboxing video I did on this product earlier, my fault, I didn't see that there were actually padded armrests inside the box. I thought they were just packing material. It's like very small little black pool noodles, but they do go inside here and then you put these sleeves over. They don't really make noise now that, now that we have the, uh, the padding inside them. So my bad on the unboxing video, but we did add them here to the stand. So much better. Shooting rail is good to go too. They do give you this accessory bag, which we're going to fix on here in a second. Inside here, we have a ratchet strap to secure the seat section on once we reach our destination, and then a buckle strap to secure the foot section on once we reach the top as well. Another important item in here is this little piece of rope. So what this is for, I'm just gonna set this down here, is to connect the foot section to the seat section, the two different parts of your climbing tree stand. This is super important because if you're up in the tree, and the bottom falls out, you're gonna be in big trouble. So let's just put this on here with a double knot. Like that on the bottom. And we want about three to four feet of length in between the top and bottom of our 
stand. All right, good to go there. So now we are going to take our accessory bag, close it up, and attach it on to the side right here. So it'll stay up there with us when we reach the top. All right, so we also have these two cinch straps. These were used at the bottom to hold both platforms together as we backpacked it through the woods. So you take these off and you're gonna put it on down here and these are gonna be our footholds. We're gonna stick our boot inside and then our heel back out under the bungee. So we're gonna connect these up down here through the bottom of the foot platform and up over this little support rail. And we should be go, good to go there to place our boot inside. Okay, same thing on the other side. Only takes a few seconds. So we're all set. We have our rope here that's uh, connecting the lower and the upper platforms. We have our accessory bag to secure us in place once we reach the top. We have our foot straps in here. We're gonna harness up and get moving on this thing. All right, we're harnessed up. Let's get in here, get safe. We'll put our tether on the tree lock our boots in and see how we do climbing up. I don't really like the bungee for this. I'm just going to put my feet in here and then tuck them around the outsides of these rails and use that to pull myself up. I think it works much better than the bungee. I'm just going to use the uh, straps here and pull this up. Our mesh seat's kind of getting in the way, so I'm just going to slide that back for now. All right, much better. take our time and not just slam down and stomp down on this lower uh, foot platform. I'm going to gradually ease it into the bark of the tree and then start adding weight. As we climb we're going to adjust our tether to the tree and shimmy it up. And we're not going to slam down we may have to rock our feet back and forth a little, push down as we pull up to release the chain around the tree so it allows it to come up. back onto the shooting rail, sit down when possible, slowly work the foot platform up. So I want to point something out here. 
the section of teeth here isn't that wide. It's kind of a, a narrow section. So just I would just make a visual confirmation, just check in from time to time, make sure that it's connecting on both sides. You could see it's kind of small compared to the tree we're on. So just be careful and make sure you're in on both sides here and that one of your sides isn't just dangling off because you don't want to put weight down like that. You want to just visually confirm that we're locked in on both sides before you start applying smooth pressure down. Okay, so when we've reached our desired height, we're gonna get our accessories bag out. We're gonna ratchet strap this top piece in and buckle strap the foot platform in just to make sure both platforms, both sections are tied to the tree nice and tight to keep us safe. So here we have our ratchet strap. And just drop a little cinch strap here. There are two hooks, they're gonna go into the teeth uh, there's a little hole right in the teeth section here you can't really see. Let me see if I can show you real quick. There are two holes in both the upper and lower platform, if you can see down there, uh, where you're going to add these hooks in and then ratchet strap it around the tree and then there's a buckle strap that goes into the foot platform down there which will also go around the tree and then you're going to lock it down to make sure you're nice and safe nice and tight against the tree so neither the top platform nor the bottom bottom platform are going to fall out on you all right so the top section is secure into the tree nice and tight all right and now we're going to find the buckle strap here from inside of our accessory bag. We have both hooks on this one. We've got a little buckle here that we're gonna use to lock the bottom portion into place. So make sure you get the top one in place first so you know you're solid on that before you venture on down to the bottom section. It's gonna be a little bit more dicey when you're down there bending and stretching and trying to reach. So you're simply going to press this buckle down pull the strap out to get it around the tree and then tighten as needed. And we're just going to put this in the same holes that we had for the top one. So now my bottom section is nice and secure to the tree as well. So now that we're ready, we're going to just take this seat, Stretch it out, this hammock style mesh seat here. I'm gonna find out if this thing's comfortable or not because we're gonna be sitting in it for a few hours. Okay, so the mesh seat is actually not that bad. It's kind of comfortable. Um, it's a little bit tighter, uh, a little firm. It's not like a nice plush, you know, cushiony uh, seat or anything, but it's it's nice and firm. Uh, it feels decent. I'm not sure how it's going to be when you're sitting here for four or five hours. Uh, your back is just straight against the tree. There's no backrest or anything, but overall, it's it's pretty comfortable. It's not terrible. Um, the shooting rail is pretty low. I wouldn't call it a shooting rail. When you're climbing the tree with this thing, I would try to angle your both platforms up, so they're sticking up a ways. I don't know if you could see this here but the shooting rail is like way down at my knees. So I really wouldn't even call it a shooting rail. I mean, maybe you could put your feet up on it. Actually, that's pretty comfortable. Put your feet up on here and uh, just hang out for a bit. But um, the padded armrests are pretty nice, pretty comfortable. Shooting rail is more of a uh, kind of hangout, put your, put your feet up rail, but it's all good. Uh, that's padded as well. So there's a couple things I noticed um, that we're gonna go over once we hit the ground, get back down. Um, so let's check those out now. Right, and you're down safe 
Okay, so there's a couple things I wanted to point out so you guys can make an informed decision before you spend your money on something, right? So um, the first thing is that the teeth uh, for this tree stand are a little narrow, so they're a little bit smaller. That's why we put it on a smaller tree here. I think maybe the tree we used in the first demo um, was a little bit large, so I kind of didn't have great connection all the time because it was such a large tree. Uh, my Summit Viper SD handles it just fine, but I think this one needs a smaller tree. So this one I think is more suited to uh, this size tree stand, this size teeth to bite into this bark. Also the bark's a little bit smoother. So we're gonna check this one out and see how we do here. The second thing is that this connector rope that connects the lower platform to the upper platform is really short. Uh, it doesn't give you a lot of room to play with. So you can't really pick up too far and get a lot of movement in there. You're limited to very small incremental movements. So I would upgrade that with a bungee strap or a longer rope or something just so you can get up the tree, up and down the tree a little bit quicker. The other thing here is that these little arms, they do move. They are gonna come in on you a little bit. Um, it's not scary or anything while you're up there, but just be aware and be mindful that these things might move in and out a little bit based on what you're doing with the tree. Um, also, these foot straps here, they are connected to these arms, so I might wanna put them, you know, just on the floor on the grate itself and maybe move this bungee strap a little bit just so it's coming in contact with your boot a little bit better. Um, other than that, I mean, the backpack straps are a little bit small. Uh, you might wanna upgrade those as well just so you can have a longer backpack strap, more sturdy, more du durable. But other than that, it's a hundred bucks. So I mean, if it's gonna get you out in the woods, get you up in a tree, get you the deer that you're looking for, you really can't beat it. You might as well give it a shot. So I'm gonna see how we do here going up this smaller tree, see if we have a better contact with the teeth and uh, see how we do here. So I'm just gonna jump in and do it. And I don't even have the other uh, strap on here. So I'm just gonna tuck my foot up underneath here and um, do it like that. Oh, here it is. And you know what? For the purpose of this little demo here, I'm just going to get rid of this connector rope because it really is limiting me here. I'm not going to go up very far. I just want to see how it does on this smaller tree. definitely want to upgrade this thing get a longer rope get a longer bungee rope something because this just really limits you okay so even though these handles move in it's still secure it still feels safe so it's not a big deal All right, so the size of the tree definitely has an impact here. This smaller tree, I went up and down, no problem. Once I got rid of this connector rope, definitely wanna swap that out for a, a longer one. <clears throat> got the right size tree, up and down, no, no trouble. These arms were turned in a little bit, but it felt fine, it felt super secure the whole way up. And um, I'm much more pleased now that I tried it on the smaller tree. So tree selection is super important. Make sure you pick the right tree for this stand and for a hundred bucks you can't beat it let's get this thing packed up and let's get back out of the woods so we want to pack this up we want to shove this cable this chain all the way down in as far as possible just 
just to limit the amount of flopping around that's going to go on while we're transporting it. We're going to take the cinch straps off the bottom. We're going to take these two cinch straps off. We're going to use those to connect the top and bottom pieces together so they're not rattling around in the woods. Again, you want to run this chain, run this cable, condense it down inside the frame so you're not carrying this big floppy mess around. So this is going to be our, our back here. We're going to suit up, pack up with this. This bar here is not comfortable, just a heads up. This thing against your backbone doesn't really feel great. So if you have a backpack on or something, this over top of it will be just fine, but this on your backbone is not going to feel so hot. All right, we're going to nest these two inside. Just like this. And we're going to use those cinch straps. There they are. To secure up the bottom. There we are. So we got the bottom all cinched up. You could fold these upper arms for the lower platform, fold those arms in nest this inside here like this and then you can actually use there's a third cinch strap right here you can just work around here in between the upper and lower platforms to keep this thing nice and tight so there it is guys it is the field and stream stealth 2 climber tree stand it is the cheapest climbing tree stand you can buy on the market today it's only a hundred dollars it is worth checking out if you're looking for a nice budget entry-level climbing tree stand you don't want to spend a ton of money check this thing out as always the links to the items we talked about are in the description below hook me up and hit subscribe thank you guys so much for hanging out and we'll see you on the next one